guys, it's Jeannie and I'm here with my monthly favorites favorites for the month of May. Uh, I know it's a little bit late. Sorry, things have been kind of crazy here, um, but I have quite a few things, so let's jump in and show you what I've been loving for the month of May. First, Florida weather here has been crazy this past month. We were even under flood warning until this weekend. It's just crazy. So with all the rain and humidity, I have been rocking the natural hair. And this hair needs product so that it doesn't go out to here. And what I've been loving is the Garnier Fructis style curl shaping spray gel. The reason I love this as opposed to the one that you just kind of squeeze into your hand and rub in, those are kind of easier to get clumps in your hair where it just gets crunchy in one spot and then there's nothing in another. This sprays out a nice even spray and just gets all of your hair and it doesn't get too crunchy. It is a strong hold so there is a little bit of, I wouldn't call it crunch, but there is a little bit of firmness to it but not really crunchy and I love this. So definitely a favorite. My next one also with this humidity and this hot weather has been the Facial Prep Foundation Base and I'm not quite sure exactly what the brand of this one is but it, I got it at Sally's for under $5, and it's just a um, makeup primer. Love this. Even in the humidity, it helps keep my makeup on longer, helps my makeup go on smoother, kind of, you know, evens out all those little indentations and fine lines. It just smooths it all out. So I have been enjoying this. Love it. It's a wonderful primer. The next thing, and if you have watched my videos before, you will know, and if you continue to watch my videos, you will see it quite a bit more, I'm sure, is the Smooth Skin uh, by NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the color Sunny. And this is just a bronzer. There's no shimmer to it. It's just a matte bronzer. Love it for bronzing, for contouring. It's great. I've been reaching for this pretty much every day that I do my makeup. So love that as a bronzer. And the next one is um, a highlighter and one of my subscribers actually told me about it so I'm so thankful for you guys. You're amazing. Um, it's the Wet n Wild Color Icon uh, Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. And even though it's a bronzer, I use this as a highlighter. It's beautiful. It's got like a little bit of a shimmer to it but not like glitter, like big chunks of glitter. It's just a nice highlighter. I'm wearing it today along my cheekbones and down the center of my nose. Great highlighter for the summer. It's not too heavy, doesn't get in your creases. Been enjoying this, and I've really been enjoying this as a highlight on my eyebrow as well. It's really great for that, so that's been a big favorite for me. And along with eyes, I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is, I've had it for quite a while, but I just noticed this month I've been reaching for it again because I rediscovered it. It's the Rimmel London Glam Eyes, and I got it on discount for 75% off, and it's the color Glam Ice. And it's this beautiful shimmery white. I just love it. And it's highly pigmented, if you can see that. That was one sweet. It is very pigmented, very soft and creamy. Love it. I actually have it on the center of my eyes just to give it a little dimension, a little brightness. And then the, another eyeshadow product has I've been reaching for is the NYX Nude Matte Shadow in the color Get Naked. And I love this in the crease. It's just a matte brownish color. Really love it in the crease. It's a great transition color or just to define the crease a little bit more for a natural eye, which I've been wearing a lot this month. Another makeup product that I've been loving and I've rediscovered is the Physicians Formula Concealer Twins. And I have it in, it doesn't say what the color, oh yeah it does, yellow light. So this is the yellow side and this is the light. And yellow helps um, counteract any purple undertones that you might have in your skin. So I have very dark, I've always have dark bags under my eyes and the yellow actually helps conceal the purple in that and then the light I just use in my you know blemishes a little bit of red areas so it has been a great concealer uh, I'm starting to have those fine lines and wrinkles and it does not settle into those so I've really been enjoying that product uh, the last two are a little bit different this one is Something I've really been enjoying because I've been a little lazy with these sunless tanners lately <laughs> this past week, especially with the rain. I don't like to sunless tan a lot because I feel like it does kind of run off a little bit. Um, I've been loving this. It's the Water Resistant Airbrush Legs by Sally Hansen in Medium Glow. And the reason I love this is because you it's really no thought to it. As long as your kind of legs are shaved, because <laughs> you don't want to put this on really hairy legs. I know that's gross. 
but let's be real. You don't want to put this on hairy legs because it's like makeup. And we know how makeup kind of settles with the hairs, like on our peach fuzz and things. You don't want that on your legs. So as long as your legs are nice and shaved, and I like to moisturize mine too, you just spray this onto your legs or into your hands and then rub it in like a makeup instant tan and it is waterproof I've worn this in the rain um, my best friends especially for shorts weather I do not go out the door in shorts without putting this on my legs first and I do want to tell you I think I saw this at Walgreens or CVS recently for like $15 <laughs> my mom called me the other day and she was at a little store that we have here called Tuesday mornings I don't know if they're where you at where you're at but check into it it was $3.99 when she called and told me that, I told her, get me some. Get me some. That is crazy. $4 and it's like $15 at the drugstore. It's amazing. Love it. This last favorite is one I've been trying out. I think I'm on week five. I'm not really sure. Um, if you're interested in my progress, go on to my blog. It's uh, the hair genie at blogspot.com. I'll have a link in the down bar. But I was given the privilege to test out this new eyelash growth serum by uh, Influencer, and if you're not familiar with Influencer, they kind of send out uh, Vox boxes or boxes with a bunch of different things, almost like Glossy Box, and you give your reviews and your opinions on it. Well, this wasn't a Vox box. This was just a full-size product they wanted me to review, and I got it for free because, ladies, this is not cheap. It, I think it's like $140, if I'm not mistaken. But if you're like me and have, ha have short, thin eyelashes, it's almost priceless because <laughs> I've done the... Uh, false extensions that are you know that stay on for a week or two weeks and I actually lost almost all my eyelashes when I tried those it was a bad experience but anyway this is called the Physico growth natural eyelashes serum there's the box and this is the bottle that it comes in and you'll see it's super easy to apply it's basically like applying a liquid liner and I'll show you this is the applicator it's just that tiny little brush on the end and all I do is literally sweep it across the top of my eyelash line and I heard you can also use this on your eyebrows I was a little bit worried to try that but for my eyelashes I have to tell you super sensitive skin have not had any issues when I first started using it I was reading all the materials and it said to do it twice a day but if you had sensitive skin to start with one I've only been doing it one time a day because I'm just too nervous to do it twice because I do have super sensitive skin and at first I did notice a little bit of itchiness on my eyelashes like when you know when you're tired or you have like eye boogers in your eyes and it's kind of itchy that's what it felt like for the first couple of weeks uh, no excuse me days sorry a couple days but then I haven't had any other issues and some of the side effects they said could be um, eyelid darkening I've not noticed any of that I haven't gotten any rashes anything with this now the reason I love this one is because I actually looked into Latisse which is a prescription version of an eyelash growth serum but I was really nervous because I heard that it could change the color of your eye I don't know about you I'm pretty happy with the eye color that I was born with and I've had my whole life and that my husband fell in love with so when I heard that it could change my eye color I was so nervous read up on this did my research this is not an issue and I've been using it, like I said for five weeks I don't know if you can see the lashes but I mean my eye color has not changed my sister saw me last night and noticed my eyelashes right away. She said they look great. She hasn't seen them look this good ever. So that is so exciting. So I'm loving this. And if, like I said, if you want to keep up on my progress, check out my blog and you'll be able to see a lot more about this. I do want to say one more thing. My, one of my favorites, and I'm going to get it up on my phone, is a new, it's not new, it's just new to me, is an app. And it's called Snap Appy by Old Navy. And what you do is you hit Snap and you take pictures of like Old Navy logos inside the store or if you have a tag or something with an Old Navy logo, you take a picture of it and then it spins a wheel and you can get a $5 off coupon. Now that coupon is not $5 off a minimum of five, it's $5 off anything. So you don't even have to pay for some things. Like the flip flops are two for five, you'd get them completely free. And I was able to get, Old Navy now does jewelry. I was able to get this necklace for like $2. It's amazing. So I definitely recommend it. You can use it on Android, and iPhone, I think. So that does it for my May favorites. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.